All right, so if you take, take a look at this question, it's a parallelogram, question 139, and it has four sides of equal length. Um, and it says, what is the ratio of the length of the shorter diagonal to the longer diagonal? So when it talks about diagonals, it's really referring to this. So it's just talking about the length from there to there. That's your long one, and this is your short one there. Okay, cool. So this is what we have. So based on this information, um, it just wants the length of the long one minus the, the ratio of the long one, the short one to the long one. So at this point, if this is 60, there's a rule of parallelograms that says the angle here, uh, actually, that says the angle here plus the angle here must add up to 180. So that means this must be 120. So the sum of the two um, kind of adjacent angles um, side by side angles always add up to 180 so that makes this 120 here um, as you kind of begin to look at this you start you know begin to see uh, somewhat of a pattern here um, because this is 120 this is obviously going to be 60 as well now this line these lines kind of are splitting these angles up so you, you begin to get something that looks like this where half this angle here is 30 and half this angle here is 60 because this splits it into two. So essentially here, we just created a, um, we just created a, uh, a uh, what do you call it? We just created a, uh, a right triangle. It's actually a right triangle here as well because these connect at the center. They, you create a, a right, um, when two diagonals intersect, another rule of triangle says that there's a 90 degree angle that's created there. But this is a 30-60 triangle. Now, there's a specific rule for a 30-60 triangle. Okay, 30-60 triangle goes this way. It says that this is 30, this is 60. The side that 30 is looking at, so if you look at this 30, it's looking at this side. That side is always going to be your x side. And the side that 60 is looking at, that's always your x root 3 side. And the hypotenuse is always 2x. So if we apply the same rules here, we are going to look at this 30 or up here and say, by the way, again, we got this 30 because this was 60 and we split it into two, okay? So this 30, it looks, it's looking at this side here. So this side is always x. Well, if this is x and this is split in, in this diagonal is split into two, this is x as well, okay? Um, and then the side that the 60 is always looking at, this 60 is looking at this side right here, is always x root three. Well, that means this is x root three as well. Okay, so well, based on that, we're pretty much done with this question because all you have to do now in thinking about the small diagonal over the long diagonal because it acts for the ratio. This is the ratio we're looking for, small diagonal over long diagonal. The small diagonal is the, um, the small diagonal is this one. Okay, this is a small diagonal. This is the small diagonal and this one is the long diagonal the entire length. So if I look at the small diagonal, this whole length is going to be 2x because it's going to be the x plus x. If you look at the long diagonal, it's going to be x root 2 plus, sorry, x root 3 plus x root 3, which is 2x root 3. Well, at this point, all you have to do is just cross out what's common. So you get 1 over root 3. Now, at this point, you look at the answer choices because in math at times, you're not allowed to have a square root at the bottom. You would have to multiply root 3 at the bottom and root 3 at the top. But if you look at the answer choices here, they're allowing us to keep this particular form um, when you look at all the answer choices. So the answer here is D. Uh, so the trick really here is a 30, 60, 90 rule. You need to know this, that the side that the 30 is looking at is always X. Side 60 is looking at is always X root 3. And the hypotenuse is 2X. And that's pretty much what you use to break this up. Um, again, knowing that when two diagonals intersect, they form a 90 degree angle. That allows us to use a 90 degree angle, 30, 60, 90 triangle to solve this. So the answer here is D.